Hey guys, welcome to the stream and welcome to day one of the nostalgic medieval week of magic, heroes and kingdoms. And that's right, I'm wearing a crown. I wanted to get a crown, but I couldn't find one, so I made one like an hour ago. Uh, <laughs> hope it looks okay. I like the white crown look. And today we are playing Majesty. So this whole week, this whole nostalgic medieval week is about playing old, nostalgic, medieval-themed games. So today is going to be Majesty, tomorrow is going to be uh, Knights and Merchants, day three is going to be Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and day four is going to be Age of Wonders Shadow Magic, which are all sort of, you know, mix of magic, fantasy, medieval kingdom stuff, right? Right. And today is Majesty, suggested by Crashes3 on Discord, discord.gg. And uh, let's play this game. These games are all nostalgic. And when I say nostalgic, which is my specialty, nostalgia is my specialty, nostalgic games are weird. They are badly designed, but super fun. Right? That's the whole thing. That's the whole point of nostalgic games. So, just this interface. This is Majesty Gold on Steam, by the way. So it's all HD and everything. Just this interface is fantastic. I love it. You know, it doesn't highlight what button does what if you mouse over here. You just have to guess. What's what's this? Settings, apparently. Uh, what's this? High scores, apparently. <laughs> if, you, if you mouse over down here, it does. So, first things first, let's go ahead and watch the intro cinematic and see what this game is all about. Seas of water. Seas of time. Both isolate Ardania. A realm steeped in humanity's myth and war. Within the folds of Ardania's landscape dwell creatures of fantasy and of nightmare. Facing these challenges are epic heroes, some motivated by treasure and greed. Other heroes are inspired by honor and righteous ideals. and some by a genuine fear of evil's defiling touch. <laughs> to overcome these dire perils, Ardania's heroes require but one thing, an inspired leader to defy the darkness. Accept Ardania's crown and forge new legends for this ancient land. Ladies and gent gentlemen, <laughs> sires and squires, welcome to the year 2000, which doesn't sound like it's so long ago, but that's 17 years. Oof, don't you feel old? It's almost 18 years ago. Anyway, that might sound like Sean Connery, but you guys in chat are saying that's George Ledoux. He was a bunch in a bunch of old games, apparently in Mech Warrior, Thief, Freedom Force, Neverwinter Nights. He sounds like Sean Connery, but let's go ahead and start the game. Play game. Our name is Gamerzak, and there's a bit of narration here. Let's go listen to that. Your Excellency, I offer my most humble introduction. I am Lord Ben Fairweather. I was your mother's most trusted advisor. I submit my services to you in that continued capacity. 
All right, uh, that narration is very quiet. Anyway, it says you play the epic quest, the bell, the book, and the candle to get an introduction to the game. Now, this is the most nostalgic thing of this game. It's so weird. This is the campaign menu. <laughs> Advisor. Yes, Sean Connery. It's not Sean Connery, but we can pretend. Uh, this is amazing. I don't even know what I'm looking at. It took me like five minutes to find that tutorial mission. Right? <laughs> this is the campaign menu. Look at this, look at this. If you mouse over, it shows a mission and its difficulty. So that is Scions of Chaos, difficulty beginner. This is the Valley of the Serpents, difficulty expert. And you could play, you could play in any order you like. It's so, it's so strange. This game is sort of like a really good mobile, a free, it's like a freemium mobile game that doesn't ask for your money and is actually quite decent and fun. <laughs> so eventually I was looking at where is that quest? Where is that quest? And then eventually I scrolled down and saw, there it is. It's in Central Plains, the bell, the book, and the candle, difficulty beginner. So we're gonna go ahead and play this tutorial mission. But it's basically, it's just another mission that's not as hard and has some messages that we have to read. So it's basically the same. So let's stick to the central plains here because it seems like that's a beginner, a beginner area. The bell, the book, and the castle. Forgive the intrusion, Highness, but we've been robbed! Someone has stolen the magic bell, the holy book, and the eternal candle! Right from under our noses, they were whisked away from the royal treasury by some scoundrel! We must do something to recover them! They are treasures beyond value! Alright, so that is the story of the bell, the book, and the candle. We just have to find the stuff. Now, this gameplay is so strange. It's so strange. Okay, uh, goals recover the three items. No warriors or wizards available in this quest. Start quest! Look at this. This is- this was so confusing. It took me, like, two hours to figure this out. So you have certain buildings, right? And this is a tutorial, so there are rumors the thieves who stole the artifacts from your treasury have fled but were forced to hide the artifacts as they left. Find the items before the thieves have a chance to return. Okay. This is the blacksmith. So the blacksmith is where you like upgrade things. So let's say I want level two weapons. We'll research level two weapons. Okay. This is a guardhouse. Uh, guardhouses host a member of the city guard and can fire arrows. They can fire arrows if we research arrows. So we're gonna research arrows there. This is a rogues guild where we can... The local blacksmith offers new services. We can recruit heroes, right? Your but we don't... We've improved the... Uh, adjust levels. What? 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 Okay, now I can talk. <laughs> um, we recruit rogues, so there's a rogue, so that is um, Catrick the Nasty, right? And we can build buildings from here. So let's say I want to build another guardhouse. Build a guardhouse, like, right here. And I'm gonna build another guardhouse over on this side, right? And we have a few buildings around here. We have this Holy Day Inn. The inn is where heroes sort of recover. Oh, there's another guardhouse here. Let's research arrows on that. Um, so this is where where heroes rest and recover. And the heroes are all sort of autonomous. And here's a message flag. Th these windows here are so interesting. So this is a trading post. Trading posts are for heroes to purchase healing potions, build a marketplace. Yes. So we can build a marketplace and they'll start trading. So the way you control heroes is to put rewards. I can put like an, an explore flag and a bounty. And let's say I want them to go up here and explore the right corner. I'm gonna ex put an explore flag right there. And they're gonna go explore that. When a hero finally reaches it, then we're gonna be able to um, see what there is there and they will take the cash. All right, so under buildings, let's build a few more things. We could put down that marketplace. Uh, which I can put right here. Why not? Uh, we can put down a ranger's guild. So we can get some rangers. And do we have... Uh, we don't have any gnome hovels, so let's build one of those. And you can see here, they're trying to get up here. See, Catrick the Nasty is now heading up there to collect the bounty for Explore. 
that city guard may or may not survive. But see, rogues sort of avoid combat, whereas rangers will fight things. Let's get arrows on all of our guard houses first. Make sure that one's sort of fallen apart. Uh, we need to get things building and repaired and all of that. So it's very, very confusing. Uh, I draw a line says buildings get more expensive each time you make them, so you need to plan. Tax collectors can deposit funds into your guard houses to make sure one is near your marketplace. Ah, good idea. There's a the tax collector depositing. So now let's recruit some rangers and we can continue. Let's research level two armor. When you research things in the blacksmith, then your heroes or adventurers have access to those things. Uh, so we could get another rogue. Has anyone gotten that bounty yet? No? Not yet? Okay. Looks like some stuff's fighting around over here. But it's okay. Let's research healing potions at the marketplace. Alright, so the blacksmith received that. So we can then upgrade the blacksmith and unlock further weapons and armor. The rogues are greedy cowards, yeah. So I'm gonna try focus on rangers. Teeve the Overlander is coming on in here. And we found something, the ruined keep. We found an abandoned keep and the missing candle. Destroy the keep and you'll recover the candle. Fantastic. So there's some scary things around here. Look at that, what is that? Medusa, right. <laughs> Resistance, dodge, defense. Uh, that sounds like the... The rogues are doing something. So here comes a trade caravan. So that's coming on down here. We've already explored all these treasure chests, which is good. And the adventure is just... Oh. Oh, our rogues have died to the spiders, unfortunately, it seems. Uh, I think I should be focusing on rangers, yeah? Did all of our... Oh, there's a gnome hovel there. I could recruit some gnomes. Our rogues are all dead. All the rogues are dead. Well, let's get one more and try focus on rangers, yeah? Let's research market day, okay. Let's research level three weapons. Our guardhouses have been repaired, which is good. Uh, there's a, this sort of trade route between between the trading post and things down here, so I guess it, it doesn't look too much in danger. It seems like we can't clear this off. So I think I'm just gonna remove this reward. You don't get your money back, but it's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna send an explore rewards. An explore flag. I'm just gonna put down this way. Like, just just have a look down there. See, see what's up. Maybe I need to increase the reward. Yeah. He's just having a look over there, okay. So here comes the caravan. So the caravan carries like gold, and if it manages to reach your marketplace, then uh, you get the money. Let's keep... Uh... Oh, the guild is full, okay. Recruit rogues. We've only got one rogue, really? Hmm. So as these guys go ahead and do things, they do... Uh... They do level up and stuff. Uh, is that dog barking in the game? Or bark? Or do I have a dog? It's in the game. I have cats. No dogs here. Fair buy. Let's upgrade the marketplace. We still got some cash. It's okay. We could also upgrade our palace. Which I'm not exactly sure what it does. It supports two peasants, one tax collector. I guess it... Four heroes must be recruited before upgrading a palace. Allows construction of standard buildings. We've upgraded the marketplace, which allows protection rings. We're gonna go ahead and get that, so our adventurers have that. Looks like we've found something over here. Treasure chests. Ah, fantastic. Thyriad, the cartographer, found a bunch of treasure chests. So he's got, like, money in his pocket, right? There we go. 725. Okay. So he brings stuff back. There's this troll, which is just, like... Wandering around our city, um, which is kind of weird. We have a lot of guardhouses. I guess I should upgrade guardhouses, right? 
Upgrading this godhouse will increase the building hit points, ability to research veteran gods. I think I will just go ahead and upgrade these three godhouses, yeah? Recruit another rogue, please. Have we... Ah, someone did actually get that explore bounty. Vela the cartographer, city guard. Ah, oh, they're just sort of rampaging through. I don't think there's walls in this game, so it should, should be fine. It should be fine. Um, I should put bounties on enemies also. The units only talk when they die. Ah, thank you, Cassandra06. So let's try put another explore flag. Actually, no, let's put an attack flag. And I'm going to put a 200 bounty on this attack flag on this ruin keep. Please go destroy that so that we can get what we need. Now we've upgraded our towers. Let's just get veteran guards to keep our main base safe. I won't upgrade that yet. I think I think it's fine. So we're now attacking this ruin keep so we could get the candle, I think it is. And the coffers have things as well. Your Highness, we have improved the guardhouse. All right, so we'll focus on that. Can we, uh, we can upgrade the Rogue's Guild. What does that do? Allows heroes to poison their weapons here. A larger cut of extortion gold to palace increases building hit points. Sure. We can't upgrade the Ranger's Guild though. All right, how about the market? Can we upgrade the market again? We can. Let's upgrade the market. Let's get level three armor. Our money's a little low. It's only 2,200. Have we destroyed that keep? Almost, almost. Ah. <laughs> MD Cramster, thank you so much for the bits. By the way, he didn't just give bits, he gave bits off stream. MD Cramster, thank you so much. By the way, if you scroll down beneath this, I've now put... A, there's a Twitch feature to feature, like, um... Uh, feature uh, people who give bits and stuff. So, oh, don't, don't mind me, just moving a window. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Back to the nostalgic medieval week. Uh, yeah, I'm featuring like the, the leaderboard for bits down below this stream. In case you're curious, I just thought it's the least I can do. The symbol is currently the top, as you see above chat there. So we've got this. Um, they increase sight range. Eternal candle. Why'd you guys leave the candle? Can I just put an explore flag on that? Can you, can you, can someone just go grab that please? So this is, this is like a management RTS, right? You don't actually control the unit, so it's not like an RTS RTS, but... Oh, can we research things at the trading post? Healing potions. Yeah, okay. Now... Anything else? We can upgrade the blacksmith again. We upgraded the marketplace. Teleportation amulets, 1,000. Sure. None of my rangers have died, isn't that nice? Let's grab, grab those. We can now get level 4 weapons and armor. Okay, have we got the... I think we grabbed the candle. Which increases the sight range, I think, of things. All right, so we haven't really found other things. So I'm gonna start putting slightly higher bounties for an explore flag here and an explore flag here, right? Because I expect things to be around there and maybe one over here as well. Just, just check out that stuff and maybe here as well. So once we put down the explore flags, uh, we don't get the money back. The money's already gone. Are you going to go check this out? Thank you very much. Ooh, there's some stuff there. Be careful. And that's going to start revealing up the map. Veteran city guards. Okay, I think we're pretty well defended now with three guard towers. Your rogues are more likely to go for bounties. Other units are too noble. They'll do it, but they don't rush for the money. I see. Well, we've got, we've got a level 6 rogue, a level 8 ranger, so we've got some pretty tough, tough stuff here. We've just lost another rogue. Uh, let's recruit a rogue. 
All right, so do we have new buildings? Statue. Uh, temple to Agrella. I don't... Oh, so there's a bunch of temples here. I don't know what these temples do. And there's a trading post. Let's try... Put down a temple, yeah? Temple to Fervus. Oh, it's big. Um, temple to Fervus. Let's put that down. And then... Oh, it... It removes some of the other temples. Are there, like, alignment for these temples? So when you build one, you can't build the other. And we could also build a temple to Crypta, because why not? Like that. That seems good. Are we getting these explore bounties a little bit? Where's the other treasures? Oh, what's that? Why is the eternal candle here? How do we- how do we recover this eternal candle? Heroes will pick up any items left unattended in the wilderness. How did it get here? <laughs> these thieves. Killing these spiders is just impossible. Jeez. Lou the snitch. Yes, remove that bounty. They just can't get through these things. And... More treasure. Okay, that's good. Okay, so this guy just picked up, right? Eternal Candle, right? So he's gonna come back. So do we have to house the Eternal Candle in something? Cultists. We can recruit a cultist, we can recruit a priestess. Spells. Oh, so this is a whole magic. Oh, you can cast it immediately. Okay, so. Oh, and we found the Ruined Shrine. Would you look at that? I don't know what Wither does, but that's a thing. I guess we know. <laughs> how do I... how do I... is there a way to pin my castle on this? Um, scan through buildings. Blacksmith, palace. So I can click on the palace like that. Okay. So I can put an attack flag. Let's up it to like 500. Attack flag on that please. Have I got the other upgrades? Let's get level 4 armor. Leave my alone. Thieves are just... Uh. So we can upgrade the temples as well. I don't know what this does. I've never tried temples. Recruit priestess, recruit cultists. Ah, there it is. The ruined altar. We finally found it. Alright, but we're gonna focus on the Ruined Shrine first. And we've actually explored the whole map. Fantastic, fantastic. Ah. Temples to Fervus and Crypta are dark. Agrella is light and has healers. I see. When you're allowed warriors, a warrior's guild, the Temple to Fervus allows you to recruit big old scythe-wielding maniac. Wow. Doros will give you paladins. Paladins are OP. How interesting. So Fervus and Crypto are dark. So I accidentally went dark here, which is fine. Healing, Illusionary. Oh, but uh, Fervus can still heal. Illusionary hero. So what do Priestesses and stuff do? What do, what do Priestesses and Cultists do? Because I'm really not too sure. And I could... You need... I do this, do this. Recruit a rogue. Have we lost? We have not lost any rangers. They're just all... They're like swole. <laughs> so now we can actually upgrade our palace again. Which unlocks... More peasants, more guards, more tax collectors. And fairgrounds and stuff. Wow, okay. What? So I could build a statue. What does that do? What does building a statue do? Boom, there's a statue. Um, there's more temples here. Lunord? Helia? Royal Gardens? It doesn't actually say what they do. Fairgrounds. Can I question mark it? 
Set the agenda for royal tournaments by choosing magic, melee, archery. Wow, okay, there's actually a lot to this game. What is that? An evil oculus? Jeez. Teeve the Overlander, you're gonna die. He's my level 9. Oh, come on. Teeve. Teeve, I'm sorry. Uh, we lost not our highest level, but he was level 9, second highest level. Okay, so this guy, Vela the cartographer, killed something. There's the evil Oculus. It's gone? Okay. So I think we got the treasure. I think so. So now we've got to get this ruined altar. Let's go ahead and put a reward, attack flag, boom, on that. So these... Priestesses. Cassandra says you get healing and resurrection on both paths, but they have slightly different effects. You get spells by upgrading your temples, they cost you money to cast, but you can cast them. I see. That's why. I... Animate bones. So if I want to animate bones... Oh, I see. So I can get some... Are they friendly or... Am I, am I supposed to cast it on my own dudes? Why does it allow that? Why can I cast animate bones on an enemy so that there are enemy skeletons? How does... Why is that a thing? Why is that okay? No, I clicked on the wrong thing again. Stop making... I'm, I'm creating enemies. Why does it allow me to do that? Oh, I had a healing spell. I could have saved that dude. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Reanimate. So reanimate means I could revive a whole hero, I guess. Finds. Okay. Puce flower. Robust grass. His name is Robust Grass. If you use it on enemies, your heroes can fight it for XP. Is that a strategy? Cast animate skeletons on the enemy so that our heroes can farm it for XP? Is that... Is that a thing? Is that a, is that a pro strat? My spells are listed on the bottom of the screen. Oh, thank you so much, Zerardor. So they are. So they are. Okay. <laughs> is that, Are we killing this ruined altar, please? Yes, thank you. Okay. Jeez, those monsters. Minotaurs. They're getting bigger and bigger. Run away, please. Yes, you need to get out of there. Recruit a rogue. Guild is full. Guild is full. All right, so we're getting the last treasure here. We're getting the last treasure. It's handy for wizards. Low level wizards die easily. But there we go. We are victorious. We finished. We beat the bell, the book and the candle tutorial mission, which is not really a tutorial mission. It's just a mission. Uh, but we are victorious. And the bell, book and candle are back in their rightful place. We also found the thief who stole them from the castle. A rogue identified as Cherik of Keldar. Unfortunately, he escaped while being returned to the castle. With a 15,000 gold piece reward on his head, I'm sure he'll think long and hard before returning to our kingdom. How interesting. Take that attack flag off your palace. Rogues will attack your own territory if there's a reward. Was there an attack flag on my own palace? Well, okay then. Um, statistics. Oh, 34,000 gold made. Oh. We spent 46,000. Danger level, number of henchmen killed. Danger level, 34. Heroes, recruited 25, killed 8, alive 17. Average level, 5. Okay. Visits to... Elven lounge or gambling hall. Hmm. That's something I don't know about. All right. So continue playing puts me back in the game. <laughs> How did I do this? How is there an attack flag on my own castle? Um, okay, options. Um, uh, I guess 
Return to main menu. Yes, okay. Play game. Play another beginner quest to learn more about different aspects of your game or strike out on your own to pick another quest. Okay, so there we go. We finished mission one. I guess we should stick to these. So you guys choose out of these missions. Do I do the Forsaken Land, Rescue the Prince or the Barren Waste? Let me know in chat which ones you think I should play because I have no idea. I would just pick it at random. Which which one of these do you, do you want to see? The Forsaken Land, Rescue the Prince, or the Barren Waste? Ah, ah, Sajuk, welcome to the stream. Hate how the clocks have gone back an hour? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you're living in Europe, daylight savings just ended or begun or something. I don't know, I live in the tropics. I live in the tropics. Uh, <laughs> Fair by says Forsaken Lands. You make your money by selling stuff to your heroes, so you need some heroes fast to get it. Oh, I see. I was a little confused about how you actually make money in this game. So you unlock items in like the marketplace and your heroes buy those items and then you make money like that. I see, I see. The one with the wizard tower just left of the tutorial is interesting to play. This one, the wizard's curse? It's beginner, I don't mind. Is this a good one? Should I play the Wizard's Curse? I mean, you, uh, who is that? I draw lines, I draw lines. You also collect taxes from your, your units. Okay, so spending money makes money, I guess. That's how it works, okay. So I've been told by I draw lines that this Wizard's Curse is good. Zeraudor says Wizard's Curse. Kupuridon says yes, Clerken says yes. I guess we're doing Wizard's Curse. It's open-ended and you can solve it in a few ways. How interesting. Let's let's check it out. I humbly beg for your forgiveness for this rude intrusion, but there's an angry wizard who- Move aside, you sniveling toad. Sovereign, I will have words with you. Under your lawless rule, one of your foolish subjects has stolen my book of spells. The value of that great tome is beyond measure. You and your realm must now be a price for its loss. All right, I dropped the volume level on vo voices, so that's really quiet, but it's a good thing we have text. Okay, continue. So we have to return a book. There are two different ways to rid the curse. Oh, we've been cursed, right, right. Method one, arrest the hooligan who stole the book of spells, return it to the wizard, then perform whatever the wizard deems sufficient good deeds. Method two, destroy the angry wizard. Your heroes are cursed, so they won't act like their regular selves. Wizard guilds and temples to Fervus, Crypto, Angela, Chromadaris aren't available. In s okay, so no, no spells, because we've been cursed, I guess. All right, start quest. And we start with nothing, okay. Buildings. Um, I've never done this. I guess we go... Gnome Hovel? Ranger's Guild? And Rogue's Guild? I serve with pleasure. Okay, okay. Is, is, this, is this how we start? I don't know. Um, we're gonna need everything, right? In... Uh... Warriors Guild. Ah, that's new. A oh, Warriors Guild. So we've got that. Recruit gnome. What do gnomes do? Can someone tell me what gnomes do? Whip club. Whip club. What, what? What do you do? Okay, we're building up this hooligan henchman. One of your heroes has arrested a hooligan. Maybe this is the subject who stole the book. He is on his way to your palace to be interrogated. In order to guide your kingdom to prosperity and shed the wizard's curse, you have two options. Either find the idiot hooligan who stole the wizard's book and then perform whatever the wizard refers to as good deed. Confront. Okay. Gnome hovels. Gnome hovels. Gnomes help build. Okay. Ranger's guilt. Recruit ranger. The great unknown is the name of the inn. <laughs> the great unknown. Anyway, we're gonna need a marketplace. Can I just stick that there? Okay. So there's another hooligan. So there's just heroes around here. Do I need... Do I need... Um, let's cre keep recruiting rangers. 
Do I need guard towers on this mission? Are there like lots of monsters? Recruit rogue, please. What else should I build? Warrior's Guild. Recruit warrior, yes. Uh, I need a blacksmith, don't I? Buildings, blacksmith. Build a blacksmith, please. Keeping things nice and compact. So we're just going around arresting hooligans. Research healing potions, please. Let's keep the rangers coming. Let's keep the rogues coming. Let's keep the warriors. What what does call to arms do? Teleporting all guild members home immediately. Oh, I see. Level two weapons, please. Okay, okay. Houses are just sort of growing up here. Growing up. Rogue. Ranger. Warrior. Fantastic. So we're going to get a bunch of stuff going. Let's upgrade the marketplace. Let's get level 2 armor. There are three non-human heroes. Gnomes are the worst of them all and they can't coexist with a level 3 blacksmith. You could have had dwarves who give defensive tower, level 2 markets and inns. You could have elves which help with the economy. Thank you, I draw lines. Put a guardhouse next to the sewer entrance, says Zerador. Okay, there we go. Creature den. Oh, they're just looting the coffers. Oh, I see. Scutty pick right, huh? So these creature dens... Okay, so it does look like there are some monsters out there. Is this a warrior? Sir Finnel Hun... Jeez, oh, people are dying. I think I gotta get some guardhouses, right? Let's just, uh... Get three guardhouses like last time. Maybe I'll get four guardhouses. I know it gets pretty expensive, but I'm gonna put one down here as well. And let's research arrows. It sounds like we're losing rangers. Let's keep the rangers going. <laughs> Jeez, there's, there's... What is that? Is that an ant? Demon wood. Okay. People are dying. Jeez. Uh, protection rings? I think we're gonna need protection rings. Blacksmith. Let's upgrade the blacksmith. Are these just rogues sitting around? What did I just do? What was that? What did I just click? I can't remember. It sounds like warriors are dying. A ruined keep. I see. Is that more demon woods? Okay, people are dying. I, uh, that sounds pretty bad, right? It sounds pretty bad. Get another ranger. Okay, so we could upgrade guardhouses. I guess I should focus on upgrading guardhouses for now. Gotta get that fixed. Maybe get another gnome down. So this rat man. So if I wanted to attack that rat man specifically, I do like an attack flag on the rat man. Stop dying. There's the wizard, wizard's guild. So we could kill him to win, right? That's a thing. Ruined altar. All right, jeez, we have no money. I should focus on keeping heroes coming. Jeez, what is this? A harpy? Well, that's not good. Sir Brenda Blue is hunting. Okay. So the different types of heroes behave differently, I see. 
So how do we keep interrogating... Are this bears? Hell bears? Jeez. I didn't see all these monsters before. <laughs> They're all just hanging out out there. So we've actually scouted the desert down here. Why does this guy seem so... What's that mean? Okay, well, we're gonna leave the wizard alone for now. Oh, there's a sewer entrance here. Damn. Um, rewards. Attack flag. On that dude, please. I think I need a tower down here, right? Jeez, what is a troll? Okay, so we're gonna... Uh, double clicking will place an attack or exploration flag. Really? This is a fairly standard amount of deaths. This is normal? Okay. Good to know. Good to know I'm not doing really badly. Rogue. Guild is full there. Recruit a warrior. So there's a sewer entrance. I should put a tower here, right? But the next tower is gonna be... Thousand, jeez. Can I research some veteran guards? Just so I can like secure my base a little bit. I oh, I didn't upgrade this one. What is that? Jeez, did the wizard just cast a spell at me? That's not fair. That's not fair. What's going on down here? Another ruined altar? So, this coffer has 300 gold. So if I wanted to... ...put like a hundred reward on that... Okay. Okay. Any advice you guys want to give me, just let me know. <laughs> if I build a trading post... The caverns produce a lot of cash. Yeah, but where do trading posts go? Kill that guy, please. Oh, so in the last mission, I accidentally double-clicked my palace. I see. Recruit a rogue, please. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus on recruiting heroes. Oh, is that him? Is that the Rhythor the Omniscient? Right, okay. And now there's like big monsters down here. Sir Billim of Longridge is coming down this way. I don't know if they can kill those things. I need to get like level 3 weapons maybe. Still haven't upgraded that tower. Oh, we do need a tower down here. Are you gonna attack us? Oh jeez, where did that guy come from? Right, okay. Uh, okay, they, they walked up here, which is good. Damn, we lost a ranger. I'm just gonna upgrade that. So I've got veteran guards here, okay. Are veteran city guards good? They seem pretty good. Jeez. The further away the trading posts from the marketplace, the more money will deliver, but the further away from your defenses, the more endangered it is. So I want to build like a trading post down here, right? That would make sense? How much is a trading post? 570. And now there's bears coming on through. Come on. But did I destroy this thing? I did. Okay, so we at least looted that. Okay, so if I want to build a trading post, I would build it like here, right? 
Because this is a pretty safe path. That makes sense, right? I think that makes sense. Uh, we can't keep our heroes up. Jeez. How am I doing, actually? Is this is this normal? Is this normal? Or am I doing terribly? I, I can't tell. Uh, upgrade the palace, you'll get more tax collectors, guards, and peasants. I see, but that costs so much money. I think I will just... Build my guardhouse first, which needs to be down this side, near that sewer entrance. So we've built the trading post, okay. So is it worth getting these healing potions? Is it worth getting these healing potions? Because the heroes have to come here, right? Did I just lose a tax collector? Uh, can someone kill this, please? Hmm. Zerardo says I'm learning pretty fast. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I don't know if I'm learning fast or slow here. Okay, so city guard. You haven't Oh, we haven't gotten veteran guards from here. Okay. Do I need like another gnome because things seem to be building rather slow. So the houses have money, I see. So all these buildings hold gold and the tax collector goes around collecting it. It's like there's 640 gold here. Remove this building, tax this building once. What does that mean? Rogues Guild, extort, collects 1,400 gold taxes instantly for a cost of 770 gold. Well, that, that, that helps. Okay. Alright, so we can save up for upgrading the palace. So that'll get, get us more tax collectors and stuff. So that actually, that cleared out all of the money that's been left around. So I I collected all the taxes instantly, whereas the, the rogues guild takes a cut. I think, I think that's how it, how it is. If you kill a monster with a guard or a guard tower, you'll be taking XP and money away from your heroes. So lots of guard towers aren't always the best choice. I see. But it seems like we need these towers to, to keep things going. Someone kill that, please. Is that in range? What's the range of a god tower? I don't know. All right, killed him. So we need 2,800 for that. So this trading post seems to be working appropriately. We've actually scouted down this way. So... Oh, I see. These hooligans are just sort of like wandering around the map. So if we go around the map and arrest them, then we could find the guy, right? Okay, okay. I just removed the blacksmith from the tax route. Did I? Add this building to tax. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So the market holds a coffer of 1700. So I could just boost that up, upgrade that. I know that that's not efficient, but I think it's just gonna speed things along a bit, right? I can build another trading post to the southwest. I didn't consider building more. Like this, I guess. Palace is renovated, so that's more 
tax collectors, right? Four peasants, one guard, two tax collectors. Okay. So that is good. And what does a statue do? Can someone tell me what a statue does? Actually, no, it should say here, right? I, I can look. Raise the loyalty of the heroes in your kingdom. I don't know what that means. I've already found the bad hooligan. He's the one with the symbol above his head. Where? How do, how do we know we've found the bad hooligan? Anyway, let's upgrade that tower. Okay, caravans are going. Coffers hold less gold, which means we're collecting it now. Okay. So, how do, how do we know we've found the right hooligan? And can someone go grab that guy? Get more rogues. Yeah, so now I think we start pushing up our... Oh, so we've got that trading post. Fantastic. Okay. Alright, so we just upgraded this. Let's recruit a ranger. Okay. So guard houses next to sewer entrances are good. That's our last warrior, isn't it? Yeah, we, we lost the warrior. Oh wow, look at all that money. Recruit. Recruit. Guild is full. Veteran guards. Blacksmith. Level 3 armor. Market. Maybe I'll focus on blacksmith? Yeah. Alright, let's upgrade our blacksmith. Killing bears, okay. So this ruin keep holds 127 gold. Hmm. A ruined shrine. Okay. Higher loyalty makes them more likely to respond to reward flags. I see. So it's actually kind of good, right? Or is it? Statue. If I wanted to build one statue... We'll put a statue down. What's that? Book of Spells. Ah. So that that's... Why'd you, why'd you guys leave the Book of Spells? Well, I guess we... Research up this stuff. There's some money, thank you. Let's fill up our guilds. Uh, we can upgrade the market. Recruit more warriors. Okay. What are these spells? Come on! Come on. That, that's not fair. So, let's get level 4 weapons. Recruit more warriors. Teleportation amulets. What do teleportation amulets actually do? There's so many monsters in the way, jeez. Because rogues don't care about magic, a ranger or warrior is more likely to go and grab the Book of Spells. Oh. Sebiserbi asks, why don't I play Majesty 2? Because I don't know what the Majesty series is. And I'm told the first one is somewhat better in some ways, so... I listen to you guys. Fantastic. We've got all the blacksmith stuff. Recruit more warriors. That guy leveled up quick. He's fleeing because of injuries. How do I... Where is he? Oh, jeez. We lost... Lost the ranger. Okay. 
We can get teleportation amulets. Okay. All these peasants are just hanging around there. Okay. So... Can I not? I can't put a... Flag on it. So how do I how do I collect? Now you if I do this, they should go get it, right? Leave my gold alone. Recruit a rogue. Okay, we've actually got a full warriors guild. Fantastic. We've max upgraded market, max upgraded blacksmith. Um, so yeah, these. These healing potions. Should I get them? I don't know. I guess I get them, right? Why is... Is this... This is my graveyard? Why is it here? Okay, let's just... No, no, no. That's not... Jeez, why is it... 500. Uh, uh, rewards. Why is the explore flag? Oh no, I, I upped it by that much, yeah. Can you just like clear off some of the vision here? Okay, so how, how do we, how do we get our guys to pick this up? Because they're not, they're not going to get it. Let's put an attack flag. If I clear off these buildings, do these monsters stop spawning? I don't know. Because the coffers don't hold all that much. They're not really worth it. But I think destroying these buildings clears off space, right? That guy grabbed the thing. Oh. Did we get it? Did we get it? You have arrested every hooligan in the land except one. The other hooligans have confessed to his whereabouts. Unfortunately, he has learned some of the spells from this book and is not likely to return without a fight. Okay, so we got it, right? Ah, there we go. Now that you have recovered his spell book, the wizard who cursed your kingdom demands that you perform adequate good deeds in order to atone for your citizens' blunders. There is a peasant who has been taken captive by a few crazed werewolves. Free her and dispel the curse for good. Here? What? Oh, there's the peasant and the crazed werewolves. Okay, I see. All our guilds are full. Fantastic. Um, I can actually upgrade my castle. Very good. So that means... My service ends. That was a soldier. A warrior, rather. Recruit a warrior, please. So that means we have to... Get rid of that, and I'm gonna put, uh... Does that unlock new buildings? Temple to Helia. I guess it'll be good to have these. Sun, okay. All right. Fancy iron sign, beware. <laughs> Was that always there? There's a fancy iron sign that says, Beware of dog. Ah, oh, this wizard. Okay. So I guess I put an attack bounty over that side. Rewards. Attack flag. No? Can't? So it's got to be an explore flag? Okay. So go focus on that then. Temple to Helia. Recruit Solaris. Spells. Fire Strike. Wait, the peasant. Is that the peasant that we need? Did she just wander off? I don't know. Do we have to kill the werewolves or what? 
this fire strike. I don't know if it's good. <laughs> Sun scorches, not yet. Okay. The buildings do spawn monsters. Okay, thank you, Cassandra. And Zerardor. Helia and Lunord can't coexist. Helia is aggressive, Lunord is defensive. I made the right choice for this mission. Fantastic. Put attack flags on the ruins. Yeah, probably should do that, right? Just to clear things off. There's like some monsters. Oh no, these are spawning from the graveyard, is it? I don't know. So I need to like make my way up to the northwest here. So those werewolves are still alive. And that peasant, this is the peasant that we need, right? I mean... Free her and dispel the curse for good. I mean, this is this is the one we need, right? Or is it... I don't know. Do I... Put more of an ex... Is there a den here somewhere? Go explore over there. Recruit rogues. Is there any building that I need besides that? I don't know. Get Solaris, please. Fairgrounds. I've never built a fairground. Come on, is it the guards in the way? Alright. Let's build a fairground. Alright, so we are clearing off some of these buildings, which is good. Jeez, they're attacking our <laughs> Look at this, wow, okay. Every building that has a yellow health bar spawns monsters and can be destroyed. Graveyards and sewers spawn monsters and cannot be destroyed. I draw a line says, I don't know why, but the peasant has walked off. You need to kill the werewolves to win. There are four. Okay. There we go. Got some bounties on them. You said there's four. Let's... Where's the last one? Did we already kill one? We might have already killed one. So, get rid of this. That's fine. New buildings complete. Fairgrounds. Research the ability to host tournaments. Okay, okay. Oh, that godhouse is just got destroyed. Jeez. Let's rebuild that. Didn't realize it was so powerful. Okay, so we got rid of some of these buildings. Okay, okay. These caravans are carrying 600? Is it, what's this troll doing down here? Okay. How do I get these guys to do statues? Come on. Get them to do as I say, so we can now host the tournament. How oh, interesting. If we host a melee tournament? Or a magic contest? A combo contest? What does, what does this do? Melee tournament. We're still losing rangers, or rogues rather. 
So it seems like there's there's still these three werewolves, but they're not dying. They're not being hunted. Maybe if I up the bounty. Thousand each. Come on, that's a thousand gold each. Sir Silvarion, son of Kolar, is heading on over. Um, we could upgrade that. Fire strike. Do they heal? Or can I just do this forever? <laughs> well, I mean, it costs 350 each. But that helps, right? I decree as king to fire strike these people to death. We are victorious, your majesty. Who needs heroes when you have the king? <laughs> mm. I have 13k gold, yes, and I spent it on fire strikes. Don't build a fairground, it'll preoccupy your units. Yeah, I, I thought it would do that. <laughs> Alright, I am victorious. Mm -hmm. Majesty, the curse of stupidity has been lifted from our people. Our land is... Good Sir Driven, let's ride the catapult one more time, please! Ah, uh, the curse is starting to lift, and most people have regained their intellect. Once we pluck all the palace guards from the surrounding trees and wheel the siege weapons back in storage, all should be well. I love how there are no cinematics and it's just voice acting for the storytelling. I love it, I love it. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Only the nostalgic games would do something like that. Ah, listen to this music, it's fantastic. Music's actually really good. Music actually, uh, Emir. The music in Emir sounds like this, doesn't it? Especially these instruments right here. This sounds like a song from Emir. Or rather, Emir songs sound like it's from here, because this game came out 18 years ago! Ah, well, that is The Wizard's Curse complete. Statistics. Mm. Not the best, not the best. Spent on spells, 8,400. Fire strikes. Fire strikes are good, fire strikes are good. Main menu, please. And that that's how we do. We, we exit to the main menu. Anyway, I think that is a wonderful place to bring day one of Medieval Week to a close. Tomorrow, we're gonna be coming in with Knights and Merchants. And I have the, the Cam remake, the Knights and Merchants remake installed. So it's all widescreen, it's all nice. Uh, and I figured up the speed up button so it doesn't run super slow. <laughs> and I hope you like the crown today. Mm. I'll see if I can get this a little bit more upgraded for tomorrow. But, for now, ladies and gentlemen, sires and squires, that has been day one of the Gamerzak Nostalgic Medieval Week with Majesty. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining Clerken, Zerardor, Da Scrooge, Sajuk, Zwilessness, Epic Bubble, SA, Cassandra06, Fairby. Lovely advice in chat there. Thank you all so much for the help and explanations of these old nostalgic games. The tutorials really don't live up to anything. But anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!